And today I will be sharing with you how Blooming Brands is transforming its restaurant supply chain with a one network blockchain enabled cloud network solution. Uh, to start, here's some background on Blooming Brands. Uh, Blooming is a company of founder inspired restaurants and is one of the world's largest casual dining companies. We are headquartered in Tampa, Florida, and our portfolio of unique restaurant brands includes Outback Steakhouse, Carrabba's Italian Grill, Bonefish Grill, and my favorite, Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar. We operate nearly 1,500 restaurants throughout the U.S., including Puerto Rico and Guam, and in 19 other countries. We have over 97,000 team members and are a publicly traded company under the ticker symbol BLMN. You can find out more information about Blooming at investor.bloomingbrands.com. Blooming Brand supply chain has been transformed as part of Blooming Brands' overall transformation because of the challenging competitive restaurant landscape. There are extremely low barriers to entry in this industry. No longer does it require the backing of a large chain or franchisor to open a restaurant. How to operate a restaurant is well-documented, accessible, and easy to replicate. And the gap between people eating at home versus in restaurant is massively widening. People see food at home as more convenient, healthier, or higher quality, and less expensive than restaurants. That has given life to a new set of competitors, such as Blue Apron <clears throat> and prepared food at grocers like Publix. <clears throat> when people want to want prepared meals, they still prefer eating at home and have food delivered to them. Hence, we have a huge surge in the delivery market with com competitors like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub, among others. <clears throat> with this competitive landscape, you see the increased desire for various digital capabilities. Uh, the modern guest has a myriad of concerns around diet and nutrition, food allergies, and the environmental impact of their dining choices. They want easy access to nutrition information. In addition, governments are beginning to mandate laws around availability of nutrition information whether it be printing it on menu or having it available in stores, ranging anywhere from calories to sodium to other allergens. Of course, 79% of customers trust online reviews as much as personal reviews. And, one, and a one-star rating boost on Yelp correlates to about a 5 to 9% increase in revenue. We also have 40% of frequent visitor prefer online order and spend more on those orders than they do in store. We have seen this in our own off-premise journey. For the millennial generation who values experiences over things, dining serves as a daily experience they want to share. In fact, restaurants are the top location sharing category on social media. And customers are no, they, they don't see restaurant apps as a payment method anymore. But they also expect loyalty programs. And they expect to be delivered a personalized experience. In order to fulfill the digital cravings of customers and to compete with this competitive landscape, uh, we require high quality and complete data. Um, prior to the digital age, the only channel you had to worry about was print. Now you have automated POS, you have e-commerce, you have web, we also have the app, and it is critical that all these channels stay synced to ensure customer satisfaction as well as profitability. Trends in what customers are looking for from a menu offering change rapidly, and we need the ability to quickly capture those changes and pivot. We also need to be able to quickly react to unforeseen forces which can impact menu items and customer satisfaction, uh, such as weather events. Local preferences is also an important trend. In the U.S., the expectations of consumers on the West Coast are very different from those on the East Coast. They tend to want lighter options with a greater Asian influence. 
we need to be able to capture all of this data and react accordingly. Consumer expectations vary even greater when you look in international markets. For example, in China, Outback does not have the blooming onion on the menu. Of course, we have supply chain tra uh, traceability. We need to be able to tell our suppliers how to procure and distribute our product and how much inventory to keep. We need to know where we are getting our food and set expectations around quality and food safety. We need to be able to quickly identify where food is and pull it back in case of a recall. With regards to customer engagement, we have reward programs. In our case, we have Dine Rewards. Uh, we also are targeting personalization. We can learn about our customers and are able to interact with them. Uh, it's amazing what people are willing to let you know about themselves. And of course, their social media, Yelp, Foursquare, Facebook. And finally, the digital experience is, is another business objective. Our e-commerce platform is super critical, especially as delivery is becoming so much more important. Uh, whether it's direct or through a third party, consumers are demanding delivery. As you can see, it is fundamental that Blooming Brand supply chain transform into a demand-driven supply chain in order to compete in this new digital age. To do this, we must bring visibility to a highly complex and decentralized supply chain, a supply chain that includes over 270 suppliers, over 70 distributors, and 1,500 restaurants. This is just in food, packaging, and smallwares alone. The process we build must be reliable in order to maintain the confidence of our restaurant operators. And our supply chain response to demand must be profitable in order to meet Blooming Brand's financial goal. We went through a very comprehensive process to select the One Network solution. But by far, some of the key reasons we chose One Network were, number one, the ease of deployment and adoption. Uh, number two, affordability due to the cloud recurring fee model. Number three, Minimal development work needed. We really use the vanilla method here. And finally, ease of integration with the various ERP systems that we have. The, the one network solution deployed at BBI includes a whole slew of modules. Demand forecasting, demand translation, demand sensing, inventory management, replenishment planning, order forecasting, order creation, back propagation of order forecasts and orders, and supply chain visibility. All of these solutions were deployed on top of one network's multi-tiered cloud network platform called Real-Time Value Network. One network is providing a global planning, optimization, and execution backbone that our entire distributor and supplier community can leverage to be highly responsive to consumer dining habits. This cloud network has allowed us to realize rapid results and to leapfrog the results achieved by traditional ERP implementations. The one network solution captures POS data at the store level on an hourly basis, aggregates all POS to the DC level, and computes a statistical weekly forecast. It then disaggregates the DC forecast down to the restaurant level by using machine learning agent that continuously optimizes the allocation of sales from the DC week level to the restaurant day level. Constantly fine tunes the demand forecast at the restaurant day level by using machine learning agents that monitor the forecast demand against the actual demand. This delivers a level of forecast accuracy never seen before in the industry. It also translates the menu item forecast into ingredient forecast by leveraging uh, Blooming Brands recipes and maintains the, a, a perpetual inventory level for all ingredients at the restaurant and DC level. It then calculates the order forecast in replenishment planning based on the demand forecast, inventory levels, and inventory policies. I, it then back propagates the order forecast across all tiers in the network so that all participants have much better visibility of demand 
across the planning horizon. It then generates automated orders at the store level based on the daily order forecast, and it communicates these orders for fulfillment. Um, obviously, it can maintain visibility of orders and shipments across the whole network uh, for exception-based alerting and monitoring. So it's a very, very comprehensive system. Now, talking about results, um, you know, this solution has allowed us to achieve best-in-class forecast accuracy levels from the low 60s to the high 80s. We've essentially eliminated the bullwhip effect, and we have improved the efficiency of our inbound supply chain, reducing many, many of our suppliers' costs. We've also virtually eliminated inventory transfers between restaurants. Uh, we've eliminated expediting from our core suppliers, and we're delivering the freshest product to restaurants ever before. Um, along with this fresh product, we've been able to reduce inventory by nearly 50%, and certainly we have been optimizing costs all along the way. Um, the last part of the module, which is the blockchain, uh, we have just started our pilot. Now, for the business case, the number one thing we're looking for is transparency. We want to gain visibility of items between all nodes in the network, enabling all parties to make better decisions and work more collaboratively. We also want to improve chain of custody. We want to know exactly who has what, where, and when, and minimize the possibility of mishandling and contamination. And finally, we are, we are targeting to have a better food recall process. Uh, we want to handle all our recalls with confidence, minimize risk and the high cost of re recalls by pinpointing the problem and executing precision recalls of only the affected items. And speed is king when it comes to recalls. We are in the early stages of our blockchain pilot and will be able to speak about our experience with this aspect of the One Network platform at a future date. 